Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this part, we'll finish the assembly and camo painting of the 148th Tamiya Bowfighter. In the last episode, I made the interior deck and joined the fuselage halves together. This was one of the best fitting kits I've built. Highly recommended. I'm not sure why you leave that part flexible. That would be an ecumenical matter! You need to spray this stuff on wet. It doesn't look it, but the tire is painted. Mission Tire Black is more gray than the Tamiya. If you have XF22 Luftwaffe Gray, it's very, very similar to the three-part RAF Gray concoction indicated. I thinned it down so it would preserve those fine ridges. The crankcase is painted Model Master semi gloss black. I dry fitted on the cowlings for painting. There's no engines inside yet. Hardly any gaps when I made it the fuselage and wing assembly. After adding their thinner and their poly, I thin this 2 to 1 with X20A to spray like this. I'm building up the base coat very slowly until I just make out the highlighting. I did this one area at a time. I've tried different putties and this is my favorite. I could use a fraction of this, but oh well.
there's a hard edge on the camo pattern there. Before the camo color, I repeated the panel highlighting step, just not as pronounced as the first time. I could not get the Mission RAF Dark Green to spray right, so I used Vallejo Dark Green with some Vallejo Black added in. Same as before, I built it up nice and slow. So I thought this was a good place to chapter it. In the final video, I'll add the remaining little bits, mask and paint the glass, add the decals and weather it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Be well and happy modeling.